way to New Zealand from San Diego, we stopped in Honolulu on Hawaii's Oahu Island. This was a six hour flight. We stayed one more night in a hotel in Waikiki Beach and then did an early morning snorkeling in Hanaumo Bay State Park before we left for Auckland. disinfection spraying procedure in the airplane before we were actually allowed to leave the airplane. We stayed in a close by airport hotel and on the next day boarded our plane to Queenstown on the South Island, which was another two hour flight. In total, it took us three days to get to Queenstown from San Diego. We picked up our rental car from the airport in Queenstown and drove two hours on a very scenic road to Tianu. Adjustment to driving on the left side of the road was a bit of an adventure, but ultimately also worked out nicely. The next day we drove from Tianu to Milford Sound. This is also a very scenic drive and we did two short hikes, Lake Miriam and the Gertrude Saddle Hike, whose trailheads were located very conveniently along the way. The hike to Lake Marion is a short 6 km or 3.5 mile round trip with 400 meters or 1200 feet up and down. The trailhead is off the Milford Sound Highway 94. There's an interesting wire bridge at the beginning. The hike is mostly in a forest with lots of ferns and moss. The lake is at the end of the hike with great views of the surrounding mountains and was a great place for us to have a nice picnic. The hike to Gertrude Saddle is a 9 km or 5.5 mile round trip with an elevation gain or loss of 600 meters or 1900 feet respectively. The trail is not very well marked and I had some issues finding the trail to the saddle after I reached Black Lake. I was actually lucky that I saw some people coming down from Gertrude Saddle and this made me actually find the trail. Uh, this is truly an amazing hike with a wonderful view of the distant Milford Sound and was definitely one of my highlights in New Zealand. <music>
day we took a boat ride and saw the many waterfalls of the Milford Sound on a perfect sunny day. The mountains really rise vertically from the ocean and some of them had even some glaciers. Definitely one of our many highlights of this trip. In the afternoon we drove back to Queenstown and even had some time to swim in Lake Wakatipo. The following day we took a bus around the northern tip of Lake Bacatipo to a trailhead at the Greenstone Valley. This was a very scenic drive with mountains in all directions and an amazing lake. No wonder that some scenes of the Lord of the Rings were filmed here. Our track began at the Greenstone Car Park with a 20 km or 13 mile hike to the Steely Creek Hut. There were only a few short climbs. It starts in a wonderful beach forest and a crossing of the Caples River using a swing bridge. At the end the trails opens up to the Greenstone River Flats. It was a long hike but luckily mostly flat. The weather was perfect and only a little bit windy at the end. The hike to Lake McKellar Lodge is only 16 kilometers long or 10 miles with minimal elevation gain. We walked mostly in the Greenstone Valley and entered a beach forest at the end. It was not as hot as on the previous day and also less windy. 
Lake McKellar is a gorgeous lake. Our third day was actually a rest day and we hiked up to a lookout spot overlooking the Greenstone Valley with nice views of the Alisa Mountains despite some rain, wind and clouds. After our rest day, we hiked to the Lake Mackenzie Lodge. This was an 11 km or 7 mile hike with an altitude gain of 400 meters or 1300 feet. This was a very rainy day with limited visibility. The trail follows the shores of Lake McKellar and Lake Howden. We had lunch at the Howden Hut and we hiked up to Key Summit, which is famous for its nice views, but the summit was in full clouds with zero visibility. However, we got some nice views of the Eland Falls and the Mackenzie Lodge and especially the drying room and hot shower were an amazing treat after walking in the rain for most of the day. The hike to Rootburn Falls Lodge was the highlight of the trip. The weather changed to sunshine again and the scenery was stunning. We hiked for 15 kilometers or 10 miles with an elevation gain of 1000 meters or 3000 feet and an elevation loss of 500 meters or 1600 feet. The trail has amazing views of Lake Mackenzie and the Eliza and Darren Mountains and also the Tasman Sea as we climbed up the Holy Fort face to Harris Saddle 
from which we did a short extra hike to Conical Hill for the best view. Back to the saddle, we followed the trail around Lake Harris to the upper Rootburn Valley to the lodge at the Rootburn Falls. On our last day we did an 8 km or 5 mile hike out to Road's End, which was basically a 500 m or 1600 feet downhill hike along the Rootburn Flats. The Rootburn River provided a few nice swimming opportunities. We rode a bus back to Queenstown along the scenic Glen Orkey Road. <music>
parking lot at the end of the Rootburn Trail. We drove back to Queenstown and from there to the Mount Cook area for a short day hike, which was cloudy and rainy, but still interesting to see this famous mountaineering area. From there, we drove all the way to Christchurch. On the following day, we took a plane to Auckland and did a short side trip to Brisbane, Australia, primarily to see some koalas, kangaroos and other animals. We flew back from Brisbane to Honolulu and spent another two days there on our final way home to San Diego. We did two hikes, Diamond Peak near Waikiki Beach, which was a very popular hike with many people, but with great views of the island. And a hike to the Manao waterfall in a typical rainforest on a very slippery trail, but with a lot fewer people. We also drove to the north coast of Oahu and watched the surface and hiked along the beach. The last visit was the Hanauma Bay with some snorkeling and some swimming. This was our trip to New Zealand. We did a lot of hiking and some swimming and snorkeling. The long flight to New Zealand was broken into two manageable flights with our stop in Honolulu on both ways. And it was also a good idea to fly to Brisbane and see some koalas and kangaroos since we already traveled so far south. This was a trip where you definitely want to come back because New Zealand has really an outstanding scenery. <laughs>